This video demonstrates how to use the ProQuest Historical Newspaper Databases to find articles and issues published in the Chicago Defender, the Chicago Tribune, the Los Angeles Times, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and the Washington Post. To find these search tools, start on the UWM Library's homepage. Click on the Search and Find drop-down menu and select Databases from the options. This will bring you to an alphabetical list of all the library search tools. Select P at the top and then scroll down to ProQuest Historical Newspapers. Please keep in mind, these search tools are useful for finding articles written in the past. You can't find current or recently published articles in ProQuest Historical Newspaper databases. The title of each database will include the date range of available articles in parentheses. For example, I see 1851 through 2018 next to ProQuest Historical New York Times. This means I can find articles published in the New York Times during the years 1851 through the year 2018, but no more recent than that. To begin searching, click on the title of the database you'd like to use. I'm going to use the Chicago Tribune as an example, but know that all of the ProQuest Historical newspaper databases look and work the same. To search, enter words or phrases about your topic in the search bar on the database landing page. These historical newspaper databases will search the text of newspapers, not the topics of articles. You'll get the best results using words or phrases that would have been used in news articles written in the past. If you're unsure which terms to use, use nouns, the specific people, organizations, places, and things related to the history you're studying. For example, if I'm looking for newspaper articles on the 1893 Chicago World's Fair, I'll have better luck using the specific name of the event, the Columbian Exposition, instead of the general name, World's Fair. Click on the magnifying glass icon or hit the Enter key to see your search results. My search results are made up of individual articles, and my search terms are highlighted throughout the page. Next, I'll filter my search results using the publication date bar graph on the left of the page. The bars of the graph represent decades. I can see that the biggest bar is for the year 1890 to 1899. This makes sense since the fair that I'm researching occurred in 1893. When I click on this bar, it'll show me just articles published between 1890 and 1899. To read or download an article, click on its title. To browse a single issue of a newspaper, select the Advanced Search option on the database homepage above the main search bar. On the Advanced Search screen, set the Publication Date drop-down menu to On This Date, and then enter the day you'd like to view. I'll use April 16, 1912. You do not need to enter search terms at the top of the page to browse. Then, click Search on the right side of the page. Click on the title of any article in your search results, then select Browse This Issue at the top of the page. To get to the front page of the paper, click on the far left arrow in the navigation bar at the top of the page. To turn pages, use the arrows at the top of the page. Entering a page number doesn't work well for every paper. Each page of the issue is made up of individually scanned articles. Hover your cursor over the articles to read the titles and click on the highlighted article to see one up close. Use the options on the upper right side of the page to save articles for later. Click on All Options, and then Email from the pop-up window to email an article to yourself. Be sure to set the Content drop-down menu to Original Format to get the full text source. Click the PDF icon to download a copy of the article. Use the Link icon to generate a permanent URL set up for off-campus access. And clicking the Cite icon will generate a citation for this article. Be sure to select the correct citation style from the drop-down menu and check the generated citation for accuracy. As with all search tools, it can take time and practice to find the sources you're looking for, but the ProQuest Historical Newspapers are a great place to start for finding primary sources.